Hello and welcome to Romany Reacts. This is a mad channel where I react and review to TV and films and stuff, really. Uh, today we are on Supernatural. We're on season five, episode 11. Um, and it's called Sam Interrupted. Uh, if you are new here to my channel, then I highly recommend that you subscribe. That would be fabulous. And if you missed the last episode, don't bother. Just I would normally say go and watch that. No, don't. Don't watch it. Uh, yeah. Those who have seen it will know why. <laughs> uh, yeah, but if you haven't seen the last episode, then go ahead and watch it. Just prepare yourself. Go in with caution, okay? It's a good one. It's a heavy one. Uh, yeah. We met Crowley and... Some other things happened, which I'm not going to indulge on. Uh, a few of you have said, because I did get very emotional <laughs> in the last episode, and was like, why didn't you warn me? Of course I don't want you to warn me. But it was just a spare of the moment thing. Things were spewing from my mouth that, you know, I was quite angry at people for not telling me that I should have prepared myself. And I should know by now, I know that I should know to prepare myself for what could happen. Um, yeah, I just, <laughs> it catches you so unaware. <laughs> it really does. All right, anyway, enough of the chatting. Let's get watching. This is a Supernatural Season 5, Episode 11. Sam interrupted. <laughs> Yeah, so Dean shot Lucifer no, with I the never cult. Hurt you. you listen to me. It You're something to work. Bitch. I'm gonna kill But being an angel, surely. So I, the cult can't kill angels. I gather. But then surely Castiel and Crowley should have been. The nurses that. tell me that uh, you're not okay. taking your medication. Gonna... If I sleep, it'll come. Oh, what will come? You mean the monster. Now we have talked We're in about a, this. But it a loony bin. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to call it a loony bin. Susan, you're schizophrenic. I know what I am. <laughs> Is she? It's like I can see my dead son standing right behind you. Oh. I know he's not real. But the monster. <laughs> he looks behind him. It is real. Okay, so what does she see? What monster? You have to believe me. Susan, there is no such thing as monsters. It's called. Sam interrupted because it's a bit like a girl interrupted. There was a film. Who was it? Was that wearing a rider? Or Angelina Jolie? Oh my god, so what is in the walls? What is in the air vent? Oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god, please go and look. Something's like undoing the air vent thing. I hate those because you can just see, imagine the thing that's coming down. What's gonna get out? Oh! Oh, fuck. Made it look like she slit her wrists. What the fucking hell? What kind of monster is that then? Look, Doctor, I, I think that he, the doc was in over his head with this one. Because my brother's... Uh... Okay, <laughs> fine. Thank you. That's, that's <laughs> really not necessary. <laughs> because I started the apocalypse. Well, so he's not actually going to lie, is he? Yeah, that's right. And you think you started it? I killed this demon, Lilith, and I accidentally freed Lucifer from hell. So now <laughs> he's topside and we're trying to stop him. Who is? Me. Uh, him. And uh, this one angel. Oh, you mean like a, like an angel on your shoulder? No, no. His name's Castiel. He wears a trench coat. <laughs> See what I mean, Doc? <laughs> the kid's been beating himself up about this for months. The apocalypse wasn't his fault. It's not? No. There was this other demon, Ruby. She got him addicted to demon blood. I mean, near the end, he was practically chugging the stuff. <laughs> so could you fix him up so we can get back to traveling around the country and hunting monsters? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dr. Fuller would like to keep you so both under observation for a couple of days. Didn't actually have to lie about both? that Me too. <laughs> yes, sugar. The doctor thinks that would be best. Are they both being right. admitted I'm now then? I'm just going to give you a little checkup. 
All right, look, Nurse Ratchet, let's get one thing straight. I've seen Cuckoo's Nest, so don't try any of that soul-crushing authoritarian crap on me, hmm? Okie dokie. All right, you can go ahead and take down your pants. <gasps> oh! Where? My pants? What? What, what for? Oh, we didn't get to see that bit. <laughs> that was your Silkwood shower. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Um. Good water pressure. Did the nurse? She was very thorough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> they, uh, they both got a full exam. Martin saved Dad's ass more times than we can count. He's a great honor. Was. Until Albuquerque. Okay, Besides, so I, I just figured it's best we keep busy. That's all. To come Better than what? Sort out this problem that they've got there at Nothing. the hospital. Oh, okay, so he's actually a resident here. In the old days, I could have taken care of this thing with both hands tied behind my back, but... Well, now... What do you think it is that we're hunting? I don't know yet. Hospitals had five deaths in the last four months. Doctors keep calling it suicides. But they're wrong. Has anyone seen this thing? Well, uh, a couple of patients have uh, had glimpses, but it's not a lot to go on. See, so you're making friends. Why don't you and uh, Mr. Creaser join us for group? Please, right this way. Go on, Sam Dean. Go to group therapy. <laughs> group session. Oh. Actually, I'm going to be putting you in the afternoon group. What? Why? Well, to be frank, uh, the relationship that you have with your brother seems dangerously codependent. I think a little time apart will do you both good. <laughs> All right, Tim. I wonder if Dame will end up going therapy and likes crying. <laughs> and I'd very Sorry. calmly like to talk about the monster that's hunting us. Ted, we're not going to have that discussion again. It's not good for group. I saw it when it killed Susan. There is no monster. King me! <laughs> Eddie? I'm Dr. Erica Cartwright. I've been assigned your case. You're my shrink. <laughs> Lucky me. And you're my paranoid schizophrenic with narcissistic personality disorder and religious psychosis. <laughs> Lucky me. I've actually got some questions for you. What a coincidence. I've got some for you, too. Well, then. Quid pro quo, Clarice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hannibal. I'll go first. How many hours a night do you sleep? That's Three or four, nice. every couple of nights. What can you tell me about the recent suicides in here? They were tragic. But you haven't noticed anything strange? Like, uh, I don't know, black smoke, sulfur? No, why? What's that supposed to mean? Demon signs. I hunt demons, monsters, that kind of thing. How many drinks do you have a week? Well, I gotta sleep sometimes, so uh, what, seven days times? It's somewhere in the mid-50s. You ever feel any, uh, any cold spots or get a chill walking through the hospital? Not that I can remember if I had. It means there's a ghost around. Okay. When was the last time you were in a long-term relationship? Define long-term. More than two months. Never. <laughs> Dean, hey. <laughs> you okay? I just got draped. So no, I am not okay. Tell me you found something. Yeah, the guy says he's... He got freak. what? We should talk to him. Want to be back here in an hour? Yeah, sooner we take care of this thing, sooner we can get gone. This place gives me the creeps. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Why is he just kissing her back? <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Wendy. Uh huh. Place isn't so bad after all. <laughs> Dude, you cannot hit that. <laughs> it's about time. Nurses are on their runs. We got like 15, 20 minutes. Where's this guy? Room 306. Whoa! Is that the um Back off, Dean? Thing. Hey, yeah, I found something. What? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Come 
Doctor! <laughs> oh, he's... What the freak? Sam! What the... It's Doctor! This hole goes all the way through to his brain. Oh. What does that mean? <laughs> that he's got a hole going all the way through That's to his brain, Dean. That's what it means. Seriously? You might want to keep watching. Honestly. Fuck my life. Oh, Sam. Gross. Oh. What the fuck? Dude. Look. His brain's been sucked dry. Oh. Fascinating. His so brain's been sucked dry. <laughs> Quick. Put it back in. Fucking hell. Gross. Oh my god, hurry up. Quickly. Nazi's coming. Well. What are you boys doing in here? Huh. <laughs> How are you gonna explain this? Pudding! <laughs> Alright, come on you two. <laughs> He's juggling it around for us. So whatever this thing is, it, 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 it slurpees your brain, sucks you dry. Yeah, and then it makes the deaths look like suicides. Any ideas? Oh, he's got an idea. Yeah. What? what oh. Is it? Well, I bet you a chicken dinner. It's what we're up against. What the fuck is that? A wraith. A wraith. They crack open skulls and feed on brain juice. You ever tangled with one Ugh. before? Never. They feed Never on brain juice. Either. So how do we kill Are it? Are you freaking? Silver. You so much as touch a wraith with the stuff and the skin will crackle. Now that's the good news. The bad news is they can pass as humans. It could be any Peter, Paul, and Mary in the joint. Laura says a wraith will show its true form in a mirror. Who do we think it could be? One of the nurses? That nice nurse. <laughs> no. Um, the main doctor, Blokey. Could be him. What's up, Doc? You tell me. Huh? Hunting. A wraith, actually. Can be anybody. I love the fact that they're in this so place and they can, can just literally be themselves because they think no, you're clean. crazy. I don't know. It's my job. And somebody's got to save people's asses. Yours included. Hmm? So is there a quota? How many people do you have to save? All of them. All of them? Little the do you the know, love, that he's actually telling okay. the truth. And then it's a damn biblical apocalypse. And if I don't stop it and save everyone, then no one will, and we all die. Perhaps he shouldn't actually be telling pe her, people, Tell me or about her, about I mean, it, all because the wraith is obviously somewhat Monsters in this no building. That's a crushing weight to have on your shoulders. To feel like six billion lives depend on you? God. How do you get up in the morning? Hello, Eddie. Doc. Ah, oh, yes, it's the main doctor. I had to read three nurses' stations to get these. They're only silver plated. They should work. Here she comes. Oh, no, no, no. Not today, sweetheart. Come on. Keep walking. I... Oh, she's going to go with Sammy this time. <laughs> See, Sam doesn't kiss her back. <laughs> okay, so where's the where's the doc gone? Still in the building. Whoa. Oh. oh shit. Sammy's that nearly had him then. Whoa! Sammy, Sammy! Jesus Christ. They're actual people. No! No! Look at his arm! The cut's not burning! Oh, it's not it's him! Not him! It's not him! It's not him now. Can it just swap bodies then? Oh shit, Sammy. What have you done? I am awesome. Oh they gave gosh. You something? Sammy's been uh, drugged. They, they gave me everything. The doctor wasn't a wraith. I know. I don't understand it. I mean, I saw it in the mirror. It wasn't human. Who are you seeing things? Maybe, 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 maybe you're going crazy. I'm not crazy. Half crazy for a long time. Maybe now you are really, for real, crazy. You're my brother. And I still love you. Hmm. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> Boop. 
You missed our session today. I'm a little busy. Still hunting that wraith? People are dying. People die all the time. Look, lady, why don't you just let me do my job? Maybe save your life. It's not my life that I'm worried about. Oh, my God. I am fine, okay? I'm fine. You can't save everybody. You can't. Hell, these days you can't save anybody, Dean. What'd you say? <gasps> the truth, Dean. You got Ellen and Joe killed. You shot Lucifer, oh my but God. you couldn't ah. him. You couldn't stop Sam from killing Lilith, and oh, yeah, you broke the first seal. All you do is fail. Did you really think that you, Dean Winchester, with a GED and a give him hell attitude, were going to beat the devil? Who are you? How do you know that stuff? Hey, settle down. Tell me! I said settle down. Who are you? Who is she? Who? She's not even there! Are you blind her? Pal, there's nobody there. Ah. I'm not real, Dean. I'm in your head. Cause you are going crazy. Oh my god. That's enough to freak you out. Oh my god. Dean, get a get a hold of yourself. Oh fuck. Oh my god, Dean! You asked to see me? Yeah, thanks. I, um... I just wanted to apologize. I feel horrible about what I did to you. The question is why? Monsters are the least of your problems. <laughs> People can learn to live with delusions, but the anger I saw in you... You hurt those two men, and you were going to kill me. It's like you are barely even human. Hey, hi. Oh, what's wrong? Uh. It's not the demon blood, Sam. It never was. What? The lies, <laughs> your arrogance, the black spot on your soul. Now we're all gonna die because of you. It's all your fault. You killed what? all of us. That freak. Oh, he's oh. A son of a bitch. What's going on? Is it, this is not actually happening, is it? Oh crap. Stop. Oh. oh crap. What is making them hallucinate? Get off of me! Leave me alone! It's Mark. Whoa. It's mine, mine. It's me. It's Dean. It's, it's sorry. <laughs> oh Martin. You need to kill Dean. Like hell, boy. I feel like it too. I'm crazy too. I'm seeing things. I'm hearing things. Where we both are. Dean! Crazy's the clue. But me and him freaking out on the same day. I mean, it, it, it's got to be the monster. What? Where? Where? No! no, uh, no, no uh, there's uh, nothing there. Okay. <laughs> what if this thing doesn't just feed on the insane? What if it makes people insane? Makes you We've, crazy. Is it possible to say, does that seem real? So the wraith, the wraith, it, it poisoned us. It, uh, maybe with venom, you know, by, by touch. Or, or, or venom, or, uh, saliva. Wendy. Wendy? <gasps> Wendy, Wendy slobbered all over me and Sam. That's how we got infected. Oh, the kissing girl. <laughs> Don't step on the cracks or you fall and break your back. I, I can't step on the cracks. <gasps> Quick, run! Oh, fucking ow! Oh my god, it's her! It's the, um, the nice one! Is this real? Oh! Oh, it wasn't Wendy, but it was the nice. Oh. Oh, it is sugar. How did she infect them? Was that when she went. <laughs> <laughs> gave him their internal. She gave him an, an <laughs> crazy enema. <laughs> You've got to get out there and kill that thing. He can't. He's hallucinating. I, I can't. Focus. Focus. Quick, 
run! Get out of it! Run for your life, Dean! Just whoa, but don't make me feel sick. Sammy's. Sammy's in the friggin' padded hey, cell. Let me go! Oh no! no. You are far Shit. too angry to be out there in the real world. You. Of course it's me. And you and your brother come in here talking tough about killing monsters? Kind of made you easy to spot. <laughs> then all it took was a touch. And you were mine. <gasps> Don't do... I make all of your problems disappear. Oh, crap. Get her. Get her, Dean. Get away from him. Surely she would have left her little spike thing out so she could spike him. Look, now she's gonna get it out again. Why don't she just leave it out in the first place? Ah, it's coming. Ah, it's extendable. Oh, freaking hell. Oh. Oh. Oh, he broke it. Maybe he's the. Back to normal. You still crazy? <laughs> you still crazy? Run! You know. <laughs> I am angry. I'm mad at everything. I used to be mad at you and Dad, then Lilith. Now it's Lucifer, and I make excuses. I blame Ruby or the demon blood, but it's not their fault. It's not them. It's me. Dude, you're gonna take all that crap and you're gonna bury it. You're gonna forget about it because that's how we keep going. That's how we don't end up like Martin. Let's get the hell out of here. Get in the car. Go. That was the end of that episode. Oh, thank goodness. Nothing awful happened. <laughs> um, poor old Sammy literally has taken from his moments in the mental hospital that he he has issues. Fucking hell. Going into a mental hospital. <laughs> uh, should not have been the first giveaway that you have like issues, Sammy. I really enjoyed that episode. It was a nice break from the trauma of the last episode. Uh, if you enjoyed that one, then don't forget to leave a please, please, leave a comment below, and I will speak to you there. And I will see you all next time. Bye.